kind of crazy, but you've been in wild games before. Oh, well, you play the full, you know, the full game. Uh, we had our chances still at the end of the game, which was crazy the way we started the game in the first half, but we fought back in the second half. Uh, and we just can't start that slow. Yeah, what do you think led to that that slow start in your words? I mean, five their first five possessions, they get four touchdowns. Their last five possessions, no touchdowns. Right, I mean, they were clicking. They were clicking. Uh, they came off of losses last year, mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. They was a Super Bowl chance last year for a reason. Uh, they got some good players over there, but we do too, as well. Uh, but we just can't start that slow. It's it's tough to see everything exactly from our angle, but it looked like after they go up 28-3, it looked like Coach Pease might have kind of called everybody over. What was that message from him there? Man, just keep fighting. We just keep fighting. This, you know, this is what you see your character. And uh, the guys fought. We, we had some turnovers. Mm -hmm. uh, we forced three turnovers, scored on special teams. Uh, so I, I just like the way we fought that. You mentioned turnovers. Take us through your pick. Oh, man. Matt just tried to <laughs> throw the ball up to me. <laughs> Gave me a chance to get the ball. He came back to me like, man, I don't know what I was I don't know what I was thinking. I, I was just trying. <laughs> but it was cool, man. This, I'm played against Matt so many times. It was like my, my fourth time picking Matt, though. So. Oh, really? But he scored on me a couple <laughs> times, but just like he scored today. So we kind of was like even with it. So. Just real quick, Troy, but, but, you know, with the way you guys – Built a lead last week. With the way you guys came back this week, what does it say about this team? Man, I say we need to finish. We need to find a way to finish the game. No matter if we're down or up, we got to find a way to finish the game. And uh, uh, we got another opportunity next week against a good Seattle team. So uh, we got to find a way to finish these games. And we will. No, again, going back to this team, and they instill confidence in me. And uh, just to be who I am at the end of the day. And um, I love it. Drake, I know you probably got asked about it already, but to score your first touchdown to do it so close to your hometown where you played college ball, what did that mean to you? Yeah, that's amazing. Um, it's really, really cool. Uh, I was scoring touchdowns right down the street, um, first time in the stadium, um, and I scored, so it's, it's pretty cool. How do you describe the final eight minutes and 20 something seconds or so of this game? Crazy. Um, it's real. Uh, it's a dog fight. That's what every week in the NFL is like, you know? um, and I'm getting to learn that really, really quick. Uh, but it was fun, cool. You just gotta pull it out. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Drake. Just playing. Yeah. That explains why I've gotten the ball thrown my way and then where I'm at. I just, the ball may find, may find other people, and it's, it's not always designed to go to me. Arthur has said a couple of times when asked about your targets, he's like, Kyle's doing a lot of things that doesn't necessarily mean receptions or catches that help us. First bounce or whatever it may be. How do you see that? What are you doing that maybe fantasy football owners don't see? Just being selfless, you know, because like I said, the ball's not coming out. You know, it didn't come my way. But I, but I may have had the block to help spring someone else open or uh, run around to you know get somebody else open. So it's just selfless ball. Do you feel like the ball is going to start coming your way? I don't mean to ask that in a weird way, but just like, like after a few games, you had to notice. I'm just wondering what your confidence level is that that's going to change. Oh, no, it's still high. I mean, it's a lot of ball left. It's only game two. And I, you know, like I said, it's a long season. And, you know, we'll bounce back. So when you guys were down 25, you know, it could have been easy to not roll over, but kind of just play out this game. Was something said on the sidelines? Does Marcus say something? Does Coach say something to, to you know, kind of keep guys in? I mean, we never give up. That's, give up. that's, that's, that's not in our repertoire. So just fighting to the, to the last whistle, that's what you know, we harp on all, every day. Yeah, that's what we did. What did you learn? I know, you know nobody likes moral victories, whatever. What did you learn about this team from the way you guys played last week all but the very end and what, the way you guys played this week at the very end? Kind of the same as last week. You just need that one more play to get over the hump, and you know, I, I think it's kind of Yeah, I mean, is there something? I know you, you got to see the film, and you guys got to get back to work, but is there something that is standing between you guys and getting that, that finish? I wouldn't say it's, it's anything specific. It's just you know small small plays that may have changed during the game. Appreciate it, Kyle. Thanks, guys.